What are safe practices in casual sex? What are the differences in sexual desire between men and women? Hello to all lovers of psychology and sexuality. Today, we will unveil the sexual curiosities of women. If you are interested in these topics, make sure to subscribe and activate the notification bell to not miss our future videos. Also, leave us comments and share your experiences in the section below. Let's get started. Safe practices in casual sex include using condoms to prevent sexually transmitted diseases, open communication about expectations and consent, and awareness of the sexual health background of the partner. Differences in sexual desire between men and women can be influenced by biological, psychological, social, and cultural factors. Generally, it's believed that men tend to have a more impulsive sexual desire focused on physical arousal, while women tend to have a more contextual sexual desire related to emotional intimacy. Acceptance of sexual diversity. Recognizing and respecting sexual diversity, including homosexuality, bisexuality, and pansexuality, is crucial to promoting a culture of inclusion and respect for all individuals, regardless of sexual orientation. Acquired premature ejaculation. While some men experience premature ejaculation from the onset of their sexual life, others may develop it later due to factors such as stress, anxiety, or changes in the relationship. Adaptation to modernity. Although written centuries ago, the Kama Sutra has been reinterpreted and adapted to modern culture and society with books, movies, and online resources exploring its teachings in a contemporary manner. In some tribes in Africa, such as the Maasai in Kenya and Tanzania, circumcision rituals are practiced as part of male sex education, where young men are initiated into adulthood and taught gender roles and sexual responsibilities. Age and erectile. Dysfunction. Although more common in older men, erectile dysfunction is not exclusive to advanced age. Men of all ages can experience it due to a variety of factors, including physical and psychological issues. Age and orgasm. As women age, they often find it easier to reach orgasm. This is due to increased knowledge of their bodies and greater confidence in sexual intimacy. Age-related anorgasmia. As people age, they may experience changes in sexual response that contribute to anorgasmia, such as decreased genital sensitivity or hormonal changes. Alternative and complementary medicine. Some alternative and complementary therapies, such as acupuncture, herbal therapy, and massage therapy, have been used to treat erectile dysfunction, although the scientific evidence of their effectiveness is limited and variable. Anal stimulation. While not all women enjoy anal stimulation, some find pleasure in positions that allow for stimulation of this area, such as the doggy style or spooning position. Ancient practice. Anal sex is not exclusive to the modern era. It has been depicted in various cultures and times throughout history. Anorgasmia and chronic illnesses. Chronic medical conditions, such as diabetes, multiple sclerosis, and cardiovascular disease, can affect blood circulation and nerves, contributing to anorgasmia. Anorgasmia and couples therapy. Couples therapy can be beneficial in addressing communication issues, unrealistic expectations, and conflicts that may contribute to anorgasmia in a relationship. Anorgasmia and masturbation. Some individuals with anorgasmia may be able to experience orgasms through masturbation, but not during sexual intercourse with another person, suggesting possible psychological or emotional factors involved. Anorgasmia and performance anxiety. Sexual performance anxiety, fear of failure, or pressure to satisfy the partner can contribute to anorgasmia by interfering with the ability to relax and enjoy the moment. Anorgasmia and relaxation techniques. Learning relaxation techniques, such as deep breathing, meditation, or yoga, can help reduce anxiety and improve the ability to experience orgasms. Anorgasmia and sexual therapy. Sexual therapy, which may include sensate focus techniques, cognitive behavioral therapy, and sexual education, 
is a common approach to treating anorgasmia and improving sexual response. Anorgasmia in men. Although less commonly discussed than in women, anorgasmia can also affect men, causing difficulties in achieving orgasm during sexual intercourse. Antiquity of prostitution. Prostitution is one of the oldest professions in the world and can be traced back to ancient civilizations such as Sumeria and Greece. Aromatherapy. Toys. Some sex toys are infused with aromatic fragrances like lavender or vanilla, which are activated by body heat and can stimulate the senses during intimate play. Artistic photography. Contemporary photographers have created works inspired by the Kama Sutra, using photography as a medium to explore the beauty and diversity of human sexual pleasure. Association. Between breast size and attractiveness, perceptions of breast attractiveness vary among cultures and individuals. There is no ideal size, and beauty is subjective. Asymptomatic. Many STDs may not present immediate symptoms, meaning that individuals can be infected without knowing it and unintentionally transmit the disease. Awareness campaigns. Global awareness campaigns are conducted to educate the public about the prevention, detection, and treatment of STDs, aiming to reduce their incidence and mitigate their impact on public health. Barriers in prevention. Factors such as social stigma, lack of access to health care, and lack of sexual education can hinder efforts to prevent STDs. Bioluminescence. Some marine organisms, like certain jellyfish and deep-sea fish, can emit light during reproduction. This phenomenon is known as bioluminescence and is part of their mating strategy. Body confidence. Feeling confident and comfortable in one's body can greatly impact a woman's willingness to experiment with different sexual positions and embrace her sexuality more fully. Body exploration positions. Some women enjoy sexual positions that allow them to explore and caress their partner's body in more detail, increasing the sensation of connection and mutual pleasure. Brain orgasm. Mental and emotional stimulation can play a crucial role in the female orgasm. Emotional connection and mental excitement are important factors for many women. Breastfeeding fetishism. Some people experience sexual arousal by observing or participating in breastfeeding during sexual activities. This fetish may be related to the maternal connection and intimacy of breastfeeding. Breathing exercises. Practicing deep breathing and relaxation techniques can help reduce anxiety and tension during sex, which can contribute to delaying ejaculation. In some native communities in Canada, sexual education programs led by elders and traditional leaders have been developed, integrating ancestral knowledge about sexuality with contemporary approaches to public health and well-being. Human sexuality is a fascinating and diverse field that never ceases to amaze us. Sexual curiosities unveil the wonderful complexity of the human experience in the intimate realm. As we explore and understand these facts, it is crucial to remember that each individual is unique in their sexual experience. Respecting and communicating with your partner are the keys to a satisfying and healthy sexual life. Sexual education and understanding are essential tools for fully embracing our sexuality,